to the introduction lecture for Chapter 7 on Amortization and Depreciation in the Free Financial Accounting Textbook. And I'm covering these two topics together, amortization and depreciation. Generally, these are covered separately in, in a uh, financial accounting class. Uh, depreciation relates to fixed assets, and amortization, among other things, is going to relate to the, uh, the amortization of a premium or discount on bonds payable. But the, uh, the concept is very similar, so I'm going to cover it in the same chapter. And if you can think of our, our foundational, what we're basing amortization and depreciation on, we're going to the, the, the authoritative source, the Statement of Financial Accounting Concepts on, uh, on FASB's website. And they talk about how allocation is the accounting process of assigning or distributing an amount according to a plan or formula. Well, in business math, you've probably done amortization schedules for loans. You have probably uh, done depreciation schedules. And that's a, an example of distributing an amount according to a plan or formula. So how do we apply this to accounting? Uh, we, uh, it's very important, the systematic and rational allocation procedure. So this is the, the plan or formula. So all that work that you did in business math with learning how to do amortization schedules and depreciation schedules. We're going to put that to use now. Uh, but accounting uh, makes this a little bit more complex because you have to have all of that base knowledge. You have to know what accounts are. You have to understand what account balances are, natural balances, and so on. So let's take a look at the complexity of accounting. Why is this harder than just learning how to prepare the schedules in business math? And we're always going to start with creating a schedule, which any of you can learn to do uh, very simply based on different factors. So if it is a, uh, a loan, you're looking at term of loan, the interest rates, coupon rates, carrying amounts, sale price of bonds, time value of money. We'll get into that in the chapter uh, as a review. And if it's you're looking at uh, creating a schedule of depreciation of an asset, you're going to look at its cost, its useful life, residual life, and the, and the med, uh, method methodology uh, gap recognizes more than one way to to uh, depreciate assets so how is this made more complex well you're gonna have to make it after you create the schedule and even if they ask you just uh, one question I'm gonna ask you while you're taking accounting classes to create depreciation and amortization schedules because we can ask you any number of questions uh, on a, a certain set of facts and circumstances if you start doing back of the envelope calculations and trying to calculate one discrete item, like depreciation expense in year six, uh, you're more likely to make a mistake. I'm going to ask you to, to always fall back, create these schedules, then analyze your accounts, and move forward. If you are not an expert in account analysis, the natural balances of accounts, accounting cycle, which means writing journal entries, posting them to the general ledger, and the precision required in financial accounting, you are not going to be successful in this, so please go back and review uh, chapters one through six, uh, specifically one through five. That will really help you uh, get better at these items in number two, because that's what we're doing. You're, you're, it's not just that you can create uh, nice schedules of depreciation and amortization, but that you can adjust the accounts to reflect uh, what the accounts balances should be. And there's a lot of different ways that we can test this in financial accounting. So let's take a real quick look at an Excel spreadsheet and I'm going to have this set up in Google Docs. We're going to extend the Lizzie Incorporated case study. Uh, and I've got two new tabs that I've added, depreciation and amortization. Let's start with depreciation. This is an example of what we'll be working on. So here you have the date of purchase of an asset, its cost, useful life in years, useful life in units residual value, and I've created a straight line depreciation schedule. In the case study, we're going to look at, at uh, some other methodologies, but for now, you can see this uh, straight line depreciation schedule. And you can't cheap out, you can't uh, cut corners. This is the bare minimum of what you'll need to do in order to create a schedule. Well, by using this depreciation schedule, you see over here in our general journal, here's the purchase of our property, plant, and equipment. And let's go down to the end of the year when we have to accrue our depreciation expense or allocate our, the, the cost of that asset over the period in which it was used based on a systematic and, ra and, and rational allocation. By using that depreciation schedule, it's very, simply to it's very simple to create the journal entry. 
Let's take a look at the same thing for amortization. Amortization is based on we're looking at premiums and discounts of bonds payable. Uh, in this case, we have a bond that was issued on July 1st of 2010. We have a face amount of a bond term. It's coupon interest rate. Uh, the interest payable and its coupon amount. We priced this bond under three different scenarios to yield 8%, 10%, and 12%. Uh, if it's priced to yield 8%, it's going to be at a premium. We're going to sell the bond at a premium. We'll take you through this uh, later in the chapter, but this is the amortization schedule that you'll need to create. And if you do this, then creating the journal entries over here for 2010 are very simple. But if you try and uh, cheat your way through this and, and skip steps, uh, you're much more likely to make mistakes. So we're going to take you through the end-to-end -end process, and regardless if you're using uh, my textbook or another, this is the process that, that you need to do in financial accounting in order to uh, uh, do well on the material and make sure that you get an A in the class, which is what I'm hoping for you. So study hard. Hope to see you in uh, studying in Chapter 7 and, and on Google Docs.